Maybe you're allergic to something over there. Well, clear bio scan. Nevertheless, you better have Dr. Flox take a look at it. As far as I know, I've never been allergic to anything. I don't believe you're having an allergic reaction. Tell me, did your visit to the Zerillion ship involve any, uh, romance? What? Were you intimate with anyone? Doc, I was over there to repair a warp reactor. What are you talking about? Seems you did a little more than repair work. Meaning? This is a nipple. I beg your pardon? Ah, uh, ah, uh, the blast assist is located between the 6th and 7th intercostals. What the hell are you talking about? I'm, uh... Not quite sure if congratulations are an order, Commander, but you're pregnant. Here. Do you see that uh, cell cluster? That is the embryo. I uh, assume you'll be happy to know that it's not technically your child. What do you mean? When reproducing, the Zerillians only utilize the genetic material of the mother. The males simply serve as uh, hosts. That's comforting. But how the hell did I get knocked up? We don't have any data on their mating procedures, but uh, I wouldn't think it would be that difficult for you to recollect a sexual encounter. Three days. You were only there for three days, and you couldn't restrain yourself. I'm telling you, Captain, I was a complete gentleman the entire time. I imagine that's a question of how you define gentlemen. The only female I had any contact with was Alain, their engineer. Other than repairing the reactor, all she and I did together was go into this holographic chamber they've got. She showed me some home movies, simulations of their planet, but I didn't lay a hand on her. There's got to be some way to get this thing out of me without hurting it. Can't you create a surrogate chamber or something? The embryo has integrated with your pericardium. I wouldn't be comfortable extracting it without more information on the gestation process. This engineer wanted you to see her planet? So? Perhaps the next step would have been to meet her holographic parents. If I'm not mistaken, on some planets, that's a precursor to marriage. We took a ride in a rowboat. I swear, Captain, nothing happened. There had to have been a somewhat uh, lengthy physical contact to transfer this much genetic material. Trip. I've been in Starfleet for 12 years. Do you think I jeopardized my career by messing around with some alien engineer on a three-day mission? I considered myself a diplomat from the minute I set foot in that vessel. Well, there was that box of pebbles. Pebbles? Yeah, she had it on the boat, but it was no big deal. We just stuck our hands into these granules for a few minutes. It's a game they play, let you read each other's minds. But they weren't even real, they were holographic, just like everything else in the room. Doctor, without a sample of these telepathic uh, granules, it would be impossible to make a determination, but they could have served as the transferal medium. One of the first things a diplomat learns is not to stick his fingers where they don't belong. Captain? If we're going to safely remove this life form from Commander Tucker, we'll have to find the Zerillians. Why don't you and Malcolm see what you can do about locating their ship? Yes, sir. Is Tripp well enough to return to his duties? What, are you kidding? I'm fine. You'll probably feel a bit nauseated in the mornings. So get sufficient rest and exercise and see me at least once a day. That nipple may not be the only surprise your body has in store for you. You think we could keep this between the four of us? At least for the time being. You got it. 